All right, we have some really interesting news here. And if you know anything about me, I am the leader of the Brian Burns Hive. So obviously we've been waiting to see what is going to happen with Brian Burns. Was he going to be signed to a big time contract extension? Is he gonna get franchise tagged? What's going to happen? Well, Josina Anderson is reporting that Brian Burns and the Carolina Panthers have stopped contract talks. It's over. Brian Burns will not be returning to the Carolina Panthers, which means most likely he will get tagged and be traded. So Brian Burns becomes the next star player potentially available for a trade. So again, we don't have official word on anything just yet, but that is where everything is trending towards. And again, Josina Anderson put this out not too long ago. So this is crazy. Um, obviously this has been something that I've been talking about for years now, um, but from Josina Anderson, she says, I'm told the Panthers informed Brian Burns during the combine this past week that they aren't continuing contract talks at this time. So with free agency coming up and of course the NFL draft, that is a strong indication that Brian Burns time with the Carolina Panthers is over. So what does that mean? It means he's likely going to be traded. Uh, again, if I had to guess, I, I see a tag and trade coming. Now the next question becomes, do the 49ers become a viable option for that? The question is, can they afford him? Can they pay him? Can they pay Brandon Ayuk? Can they pay Brock Purdy? Can they pay all these people? Regardless of that situation, the 49ers are going to be making a lot of dramatic changes here within the next couple years. So it's just the way it has to go. So uh, the thing is, is it can happen if they really wanted to. They could get it done, they could pay him, they could trade maybe 31 and a comp third to go and get Brian Burns and get him over here, give him a contract extension, depending on how they structure the contract, depending if it's front loaded, back loaded, um, how they wanna try to structure the cap hit and things like that, it is viable. But again, we already know that the 49ers are likely going to be making some big time moves really in the near future to try to reconstruct the cap to be able to get guys like Purdy paid and Ayuk paid and the, the guys coming up in the future and having to make some decisions on some of the vets and things like that. So that's happening regardless. So the 49ers, um, again, have a decision to make. Do they want to push all their chips into the center for 2024 and, and make one kind of last shot at getting a championship with this core? Or do they want to try to remain sustainable a little bit longer um, and not really go all in and just try to make it work? Um, I'm personally of the belief that they need to go all in. I think they need to go and, and try to win right now. Um, and so what other way uh, would be better than going and trying to get arguably one of the best speed rushers in the NFL to put on the opposite side of Nick Bosa and get after the passer. So for me, obviously, um, you guys know, uh, I, <laughs> Brian Burns is my guy. He's been my guy, he's, uh, was a draft crush of mine coming out of Florida State. Um, and I, we do know that the 49ers called on Brian Burns last year. So there's already a link. Um, there's already, the 49ers have already shown interest in Brian Burns. And again, for all the people who say, oh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, it's like, well, if it's not gonna happen, why would the 49ers have called on him last year? The same thing applies. He still wouldn't need to be paid. All those things need to happen. So um, why would they call and see if he was available um, if it wasn't possible? So that's where I'm currently at. Now, obviously a lot of things need to happen um, and it would take a lot of massaging uh, to get it done. But the bottom line is it's possible. It's just, is it feasible? So we are gonna find out. But again, 
and this is another option. It's another in interesting scenario of like, basically with the San Francisco 49ers picking at 31 and they're just, you know, the they have a good chance of missing out on all the top offensive linemen prospects in regards to the top OT OTs. Maybe some of the top interior offensive linemen as well. Um, they have an opportunity to miss out on all the top edge players, um, maybe even the top cornerback. So if they feel like they can leverage pick number 31 into Brian Burns with maybe some additional things headed their way, um, that seems like a move to make. Even if you have to get creative from a cap standpoint and you have to figure out how you're going to move the money around, um, whether restructures or, or doing other things, um, we know that the 49ers have ways to create space. And obviously, if you were to extend Brian Burns to a contract this year, his cap hit wouldn't account wouldn't count this year. Get pushed out. So, um, definitely an interesting scenario. Um, obviously, if it were up to me, I'm doing everything I can to get Brian Burns onto the San Francisco 49ers to team up with Nick Bosa and to just be able to see what that pass rush duo would look like uh, of having the the probably the best one-two punch in the entire NFL with Bosa and Burns. Um, we already know he's a great character guy, uh, great friends with Christian McCaffrey. Um, he's a great locker room guy, great leader. Um, he has all the intangibles that you want from a personality standpoint. He would be, a, I already know for a fact, he would be a great fit in this locker room. He'd be a great fit in this culture. Um, so that those those things aren't an issue. He's a good player. He's a good person. He's a good leader. The only thing that the 49ers would need to really figure out is what it's going to take to potentially get him and then just how they maneuver the contract situation. But again, there are things that can be done. There are moves that can be made. There are restructures that can happen. The 49ers can do this. It's just a matter of will they do it and, and do they feel that suits them best for uh, either winning now or long t long term stability. And I really feel like that's kind of where the 49ers are at heading into this year. It's are they all focused on trying to win a championship in 2024 and just letting it play out um, after that? Or are they really trying to, you know, maybe not make as many win now moves and just try to sustain, try to just try to build a roster that will be in the playoffs every year may not be a guarantee that they will go all the way but if they're you know winning the west every year and, and getting into the playoffs do you want that or do you want to uh, put all your chips into the center for a championship next year so it's going to be absolutely fascinating to see you already know where i'm at with it um <laughs> i would love to see it uh, so let me know what you guys think about this. Should the 49ers go and try to get Brian Burns and do whatever they can? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.